accusations of inappropriate touching. He blocked me with his shoulder on my shoulder and got really close to my face. Like, I could feel him breathing on me. And texts. And he said, supine or doggy style, your choice. Brought to the surface in an NBC4 Investigates report in February. This former Adena uh, Health employee's complaints were about a doctor who currently works at the Chillicothe Hospital. What was your reaction to that? Well, first of all, I think it's sad. And, and I take, and the organization take, any time there's any allegation of any sort, whether it's sexual harassment or any type of thing that, that involves people. And we take that very seriously. I can tell you the very first thing we do is we follow not only our protocols and policies, but we also work very closely with the local authorities and governing bodies. We follow the law and we do an investigation. CEO Jeff Graham confirms. Well, there's investigation, yes. Since our original story ran, another woman who works for an outside vendor that serves Adina told me the same doctor sent her inappropriate text messages. She gave me permission to share those messages with Graham, telling me she's already sent them to the hospital's leadership. I picture you naked all the time. You owe me sex and a request too vulgar to show you on TV. Is that acceptable coming from a doctor? to an outside vendor of Adena Health? Or is that acceptable of a doctor to anyone in a professional setting? I would just have to respond. I mean, you're showing me two or three documents there from an individual, and I would just go back to what I said earlier that um, when you look at the at the investigation and the process that you use during that investigation. They're looking at all the facts in the case. I'm having trouble understanding what information can excuse texts like that. Again, you know, there, there are people involved through the investigation process, internally and externally within the organization, and we just, I'm not going to comment, make comments about either one of the individuals involved but I can tell you that the result of those investigations and charges or whatever will be taken will be, will be appropriate. We are not naming the doctor because he has not been charged with a crime, although I have confirmed that both women have separately reported this doctor to the Ross County Sheriff's Office. One of the women was told her complaint was not a criminal matter.